بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر پریزنٹرز فیکلٹی ممبرز گیسٹ ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس لیڈیز اینڈ جینٹل مین دس برنگز اس ٹو دی کنکلوڈنگ آر آف دس سیشن وچ واز ویری لیولی اینڈ ڈائنامک اینڈ آئی مسٹ اپریشیٹ دی پریزنٹیشنس بائی دا ٹو اسکالرس and the patient hearing and very good questions coming from the audience. Um, we have a culture here in this part of the world that what we think we want to impose on others. This is the basic problem. That we want to impose our opinion on others. Please listen to each other. Don't agree with the person. But listen to him, show respect to his views. You are not supposed to follow him. And believe me, this is the first step and stepping stone to peace. If I tolerate you and you tolerate me, this is the beginning of peace. Everyone in this country wants peace, but he doesn't want to change his behavior and you know opinion so this is the first and foremost lesson so actually uh, let me yes. address you so Le let us anjan saab don't call yourself minority please this is not a good term you are part of our body aap hamare jasadi milli ka hissa hai wo bewakoof hoga کہ وہ آپ کو اس نظر سے دیکھے کہ کوئی یہ فورن باڈی ہے سائنس کے لوگ جانتے ہیں فورن باڈی کو سو لیٹس کم ٹو دس ڈسکشن فسٹ آف آل آئی ایم اے اسٹوڈنٹ ایز ویل ایز اے ٹیچر آف کنسٹیٹیوشنل ڈیولپمنٹ دس مارننگ آئی پریزنٹیڈ مائی بک آن کنسٹیٹیوشنل ڈیولپمنٹ ٹو مسٹر افراسی اب خٹک اینڈ دی ادر ڈگنیٹری آئی لرنٹ اے لاٹ since morning the presentation of afrasia patak believe me he is better than many many university professors he is so balanced the way he was selecting his words the way he was constructing his argument i am happy that there is a majority of young people you would have definitely learned from balanced presentation of him. We are also learning from other people and uh, it doesn't you know, matter if someone is younger than me in age. Alama Iqbal ne to dua mangi thi ki jawanun ko peerun ka ustad kar. So if a younger person teaches me, he is my teacher. Constitution is a basic document of a country and believe me, No other nation in the world can translate constitution in such a beautiful way as the Afghanis have done. You know what do Afghanis say to the constitution? Qanuni asasi. What a beautiful word. Qanuni asasi. Buniyadi qanun. So this is Qanuni asasi of a nation. It describes powers and functions of various organs and branches of the state. But you know, you are students of constitutional development and this discipline. Modern constitution also have some other integral parts. That is, the fundamental rights chapters are integral part of modern constitutions. And the directive principles of state policy. I visited Kabul a couple of years before and I Uh, went through their constitution, it is available on internet as well. And then I wrote a paper which is available on internet, a comparison between constitutions of Afghanistan and Pakistan. Can you imagine that that war-torn country has an excellent constitution, which they have drafted by some international experts, They may have problems in implementing the constitution in letter and spirit, but the constitution is very beautiful. 
They have incorporated the directive principles of state policy in the introduction of the constitution. We in Pakistan have incorporated those articles in the constitutional uh, chapter of the constitution title is principles of policy which starts from article 29 and ends up at article 40. So these are also some components, essential components of modern constitutions. Let me tell you that constitutions, rules and regulations are mechanical and non-living things. You know, when we were kids, you were taught that what are the characteristics of living things and non-living things. So, I am repeating, constitutions, rules, regulations, etc. are mechanical and non-living. On the other hand, societies and human beings are organic and living things. So mechanical things are constant in their nature, but living things, their needs, their requirements change. Therefore, this mechanical thing has to be changed so that it could meet the challenges of the new time. It could fulfill the requirement of the living things, society and the human beings. So if constitution is amended time and again, don't worry. It is for the betterment of the society. Sometimes the some bad things are incorporated in the constitution. But then time comes as in the life of 1973 constitution, that a rectifying amendment, the 18th constitutional amendment, purged the whole constitution from bad things. This is a very great achievement since the creation of Pakistan. Still there are some problems as was, was elaborated this morning by Afrasia Bhattak in the exact implementation of 18 amendment, but it will be remembered throughout the history of Pakistan, inshallah. Coming to the presentations by our very respectable Mr. Anjum James Paul, uh, one thing I told him explicitly that you are a non-Muslim Pakistani. You are not a minority. His paper was thought-provoking. But again, I would say that if I don't agree with some of his points, this is my right. And if he presented his, his own point of view, this is his right. So let's have a mutual respect for each other's views. You know, there were some pictures shown by, by the presenter on the screen. Every picture was a true picture. Nothing was concocted. But I can tell you thousands of Muslims pictures like this. Who killed them? Who burned them? They were our common enemies. Let me tell you a very success story in Peshawar. We have here an organization, Faith Friends. Please write it down, Faith Friends. I am part of the Faith Friends. We Muslims, the Christians, the Hindus, and the Sikhs of Peshawar city sit together. We celebrated. Christmas, last Christmas in the Central Cathedral of Peshawar Kent. I was one of the speakers. We had Eid al-Azha party in the same cathedral and the Hindu girls and the Christian girls were explaining the philosophy of sacrifice in Islam. It was such an excellent. <laughs> we celebrate Guru, Baba Guru Nanak's Janam Din. We celebrate Hindus festivals here in Peshawar. In the whole era of terrorism, 
the less affected people were minorities or, or, or non-Muslim Pakistanis in this city. It was because of the faith friends. I remember once we had a program in the Central Cathedral and the list of the speaker were almost 42. <laughs> so the Christian friend asked me to deliver a speech. I said, there's so many people have spoken. Let me, you know, exclude my name. He said, no, 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 you will have to. I said, okay. I, am, I came to the dice and I said that I'm just giving you one liner. A delegation of Christians from Najran came to the mosque of the Prophet. They met the Prophet. He fed them. He fitted them in Masjid Nabwi. Masjid Nabwi became a guest house for Christians. Then they said, We want to live here. He said, Okay. That became an NR hotel for them. And the next day was Sunday. They said, We want to worship, but there is no cathedral. He said that you can worship here in Masjid Nabwi. So, my jumla is that this Islam ka peshwa. Isaiyon ko Masjid Nabwi mein jaga deta hai Us Islam ke manne wale Zulam karenge ke unko dil mein jaga na de Ye baat jab mein ne ki to Bishop sahab aaya us ne mujhe galay laga liya Yaha pe saksi stories hai Lekin humare haa to sahafat kis cheez ka naam hai Kutte ne insaan ko kaata, this has no news value. Insaan ne kutte ko kaata, is ki banner line lagegi. Is mulk mein aisi aisi misale hai ki aap hiran honge, lekin negative cheeze zyada hoti hai. Mein ye kehne ki koshish nahi kar ra. I would not claim that everything is okay in this country. Let me conclude with the hope that we should keep this debate going on. Till our non-Muslim Pakistanis are satisfied. This should be our goal. We should continue our debate on the anomalies and paradoxes of the constitution till the whole nation is satisfied. But please, why we are living in some one paradise? I'm not turning the thing. Why we are living in a, in a euphoria to say our utopia to say that nobody is carrying the constitution. Is there any country in the world where the whole nation is implementing constitution and literate spirit? No, there is no country on the face of the earth. We may be somehow backward from many countries, but we are forward than so many other countries. So let us try to improve upon and let us tolerate each other. And once again, I would say I salute to the non-Muslim citizens of this country. I agree with Anjum Saab. They have rendered valuable services. They are very intelligent people. They are very sincere. And a model is sitting here in front of us that he donated blood to 38 people, of whom 37 were Muslims. What else you want?